Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you my quad and glute workout that I am definitely feeling the after effects of today and is definitely worth a try. So if you wanna grow some quads and glutes, let's do it. So I first started off with leg extensions and if these couldn't be any more torturous, I went ahead and made them one and a quarter reps. So I apologize in advance. These are pretty brutal. So what you're going to do is come all the way up, then go down a quarter of the way and then back up. Make sure you get a full squeeze, pause at the top and then come back down. So when you come up to the top the first time, you're just immediately going to go down into that quarter rep, come back up, and then make sure you get a solid contraction at the top and go back down. So you don't need to like pause for any extended period of time. You're just making sure that you hold it long enough to where you feel that full squeeze, and then you can go back down. I did eight reps each set for three sets total. I then moved on to Smith machine squats, which I've really been enjoying in many of its different variations lately to kind of manipulate where I want my focus more so to be. So I did four sets with a rep range goal of eight to 12 and I increased the weight each set. If you would prefer to swap for barbell squats here, that's completely fine. I just don't barbell squat much anymore. So the Smith it is for me. So right now I'm showing you guys the first few reps of all of my sets. And then I'm gonna transition you guys over to the last few reps of each set. I sit and wonder about the times that it made sense But nowadays I don't worry about what's past tense My younger days I used to hang around with mad friends If we just fell out, I don't really know what happened A lot of people come around to keep you stagnant Distraction, so yeah, don't show them no compassion We was really out here grinding, really rapping Stacking them Franklins, them Grants and them Jacksons Imagine if we would've never chased our passion We probably would've never knew what happened they was all just talk, we showed action yes, we Once they leave, don't you let them back in no. Just pack up all their stuff and send them packing I'm blacking on anybody thinking they could act up with me <laughs> This vibe ain't for free Cause where I'm at in life, I'm only focused on me Facts. Note the self, know yourself, focus on your health They don't wanna help them, f*** it, do it by yourself yeah, Don't give them no excuse to put you on the shelf If it's me, myself, and I, then it's no one else yes. Yeah Self-love is the best love. best love It's the people who always give that never get love no. They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Yeah, uh Self-love is the best love It's the people who always give that never get love They ain't real enough to probably say they messed up Just let it go and make the best of it Love yourself yeah. I then moved right along to barbell B stance hip thrusts for three sets of 10 to 12 reps each side. So for the setup, you want to get into your standard hip thrust position, but then whichever side you are not working first, take that foot and slide it forward. So that foot's heel is planted in line with the toes of your working planted foot. Just check my feet out to kind of get what I'm saying. Do one side, then switch foot positions. Because your other side is taking on about 30-ish percent of the load, I do rest about 20 seconds between sides just to kind of let that burn die down a little because oof, these burn. Now, there are so many alternatives here, an easy curl bar instead of a straight bar, a machine instead of setting up your own thrust area, a dumbbell instead of a barbell, tons of options. Now, I would suggest sticking with the barbell variation if you can, because I do find it to be a bit more challenging than dumbbells just because of the weight distribution, but just do whatever works best for you in your situation. I then moved on to a single leg leg press with a high foot position on the pad to bias more of the glutes. Now I'm using the horizontal leg press here and I would highly recommend using it for better stability and glute contact when doing a single leg variation. 
I used to do them on the 45 degree machine, which is fine, but I much prefer this leg press for this specific variation. Now, another big thing here is that when doing a single leg leg press, that non-working side needs to be completely planted on the ground the entire time, not floating around. This is to keep your hips and pelvis in line to keep you safe and offer much better stability to then be able to use the proper loads during the exercise. So keep that foot and plant it on the ground. So I did three sets of 10 to 12 reps. And although my entire foot is staying planted on the pad with that working side, I am intentionally driving through mostly my heel as I press to really feel my glutes working. Practice what you preaching, but clearly they're not practicing entitlement and pride. Yeah, those two things, they factor in. Inspire a lot of control just from all the bantering when they accustomed to talking behind your back with all that chastering. I remove myself before I abuse myself. Talk to. about self love but you gotta do it yourself yeah and i won't act too good for no help but well, y'all healing now yeah. said some things about me that ain't true how you feeling now even now my lowest they tried to find a way to bring me down Try. big y'all up for years ain't talking just the brand or the sound i don't throw things around i do it from the heart proud mama just want to see a sunshine removing them dark clouds yeah self-love is the best love it's the people who always give that never get love they ain't real enough to probably say they messed up just let it go and make the best of it yeah uh, self-love is the best love it's the people who always give that never get love they ain't real enough to probably say they messed up just let it go and make the best of it love yourself I then ended with two sets of standing plate hip abductions and oh my goodness, my glute medius was on fire each set. So firstly, the working side is the one with the planted foot, not the knee bent side, which I see a lot of people get confused on. Second, you want to get into position and while bracing onto something, hold that plate next to the knee of your bent leg. You'll then want to sink into that working side. You see me sinking into my hip. It's to get my glute medius into a fully stretched position. Then you will come up, bringing your glute medius into a fully shortened position while lifting that non-working side out. So focus all your attention on that working glute medius from it being fully stretched at the bottom to fully contracted at the top. It is brutal when you get it right. So I did two sets of 15 reps, but that is the entire workout. This one is definitely worth a try. So if you try it out, let me know how it goes in the comments below or on Instagram. If you're looking for more structured training, you can find my 12 week workout program down below and you may want to sign up to my email list on there for something possibly new coming cough cough. My entire fit is from Gymshark. I'm obsessed with this new set I got from them. More details on that below as well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.